What's up y'all, Farmer Q here, and today we're just gonna get this pepper plant staked up. We're gonna get these beans tied to this lattice because these beans are out of control, y'all. I just really wanted to show y'all this because this is what happens if you have a plant that is not staked up and kind of starts to grow uneven. And as your pepper plants get taller, as your tomato plants get taller, you wanna take some time and just stake them up, give them support, make sure that they can make it through the season where they are because I'll tell you what, if you wait too late, it can really become a problem and you'll be contending with a lot more than you should. So let's go ahead and get started with it. So y'all, this is the pepper plant that I'm talking about. This plant, I mean, the main stalk of it is growing straight up and down and it really is, uh, it's, it's doing okay, but this side branch right here, it's just really not, <laughs> both the side branches, they're just really not, they're not doing what they need to do. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this stake here and we're gonna drive it right down beside the main stem of the plant. And we're gonna attach the side posts that are leaning onto this stake. So let's go ahead and get this stake out. We're gonna bring the stake in. We're gonna put the thick part at the bottom. We're gonna bring the stake in kind of close to the main root ball, about right here. We're gonna drive this in nice and strong there. Just like that. Get a nice, steady, strong attachment. Now we have our twisty ties here. What we're gonna do now is pull these up and attach attach the different points to the actual stake so that we can get some support going. So I'm gonna get my twisty ties ready. So we'll get one section of twisty tie right here about this long, maybe about seven, eight inches or so we'll gently lift our first branch up like this or both the branches up like this and this is where the tough part comes in a little bit so you want to just kind of cradle the whole plant a little bit just like that and you want to attach your first branch with the stake i mean with the twisty tie this is a very delicate process it could very well end in your plant snapping so this is why you want to make sure that your plant is staked up at the beginning of the season or that you make sure that the plant is getting staked as the season comes along so we're just gonna we're just gonna twist this in place here and really just get it attached nice and strong we're gonna come back with another twisty tie we're gonna attach it to the other stem piece but I want to keep holding this plant in place because I think that it'll, it may just snap if I don't hold it in place. So let's go ahead and get it over here. We got one attached. So now we're going to attach this stem to it as well. So let's go ahead and get that piece of twisty tie off right here. Press that to cut. Then we will grab this right here. Twist the first part around the stem right here. Give it a little slack. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna wrap this other part around the stem right here. So this is a double reinforcement right here on the bottom. And as the plant grows and climbs, we're going to allow it to attach to the stake at different points. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let this hang and see what happens. All right, you see now we're getting a little bit we're getting a little bit somewhere with the plant. So now we're gonna make a few more attachments on the top here, so that we can really have some stabilization on the whole plant. So let me get this twist tie here. And what I want to do with this one is I want to make the twist tie big enough to where I can wrap the whole stem around the actual stake here. So we're gonna grab it just like this move that plant piece of plant around we have our stake cradling the whole plant just like this we're going to come around the stem come around the stake just like this make sure it's in a really good spot on the plant and get it nice and tight up against that bamboo stake not too tight but just tight enough to where you can noticeably see that the stem is supported So now that we got a little support on our plant, you can see that 
she's just a lot more steady. When you shake the stake, you can see that the stake is holding a lot of the weight of the plant now. So now I'm really confident that this plant will be able to grow, at least for now, and support all these beautiful peppers that are on it. I wanna take this last stem right here and I wanna just kinda of make an attachment piece with the bamboo stake over here to make sure that we can be good to go though because these peppers, they get kinda of heavy so I wanna make sure we're set to go. So we're just gonna take one piece of twisty tie here and put it around the stem here. Be careful with the stems guys because they can really snap so you want to be delicate with your processes. I'm just twisting some twisty tie around the stem. Y'all see me do that. So getting that attached. Then we're going to take this piece right here and attach it to the bamboo stake up here. Just like this. And now our plant has all kinds of support. We have support here. We have support here. And the bamboo stake is just holding the plant up like it needs to. So as we go on, if we need to stake more points on the plant, we will. But there are just so many peppers formed on this plant right now that we're just going to let some of the peppers finish out. They're all down the plant. We're going to let some of the peppers finish out. And then we're going to come back through and stake up some more. But as y'all can see over here, these other sheep nose pimento peppers, that we got a ripe one right there. And then we got some that are well on their way down here. So... We got some cool stuff going on but y'all check out come check out real quick the yellow trinidad scorpion hot peppers goodness gracious y'all like these peppers are going insane let me see the camera real quick tj so y'all can see here so if y'all can see here we got fruit for days like i was saying earlier there's fruit all over the plant now that it's hit a certain temperature it's like the plant just wants to put out fruit all over the place all these plants it's just beautiful out here we got multiple hot peppers on all of them so just for the heck of it we'll get down up in here and we'll pick one of the peppers that are ready right now come down up in here we've been letting this one sit and simmer for a minute but i know y'all see it on the frame because i can see it but work with me for a little bit while we get off in here We'll just get up in here and pick this bad boy right here just like this. I know they say don't touch it, but we got it. So this pepper is definitely overripe. But we'll take it inside and we'll throw it in a stock pot of some food or something. <laughs> Alright guys, so we have a bunch of this Christmas pole lima bean that is just being completely unruly. It is growing wherever it wants to. So we gotta get some of these vines reattached to the lattice to make sure that we're good to go. So I'm gonna grab my twisty ties here and I'm gonna do some work on the trellis over here or the lattice, if you will. And we will make a quick attachment right here. So let's make, let's get our twisty tie. We'll make a quick attachment right here. Just like this. Quick twist. That one's set. It's gonna keep growing and I'm gonna let it go down and then come back up. So that one's taken care of. This one right here. Do I want it to grow up along the lattice like that? No, I don't. So I'm gonna pull this down and I'm going to secure this one along here, up underneath that one right there. So let's get the twisty tie. Got our section. So now we come over here. Come around here, just like this. You know what? We'll twisty tie this one closer to the tip. So we'll come over here with this one. We'll get it up around on this side. I really like these lattice boards because they're simple and easy. You just come over here, throw it on the ground, and then you just start attaching your beans to it and they just grow. Grow, grow, grow. So we got that one attached. So now you're starting to see the vines start to have purpose a little bit. 
I'm gonna come over here and grab this one. It's on the ground over here. And we'll let this one get a little bit longer because it can't quite reach just yet without pulling on the plant. So we'll let this one get a little bit longer before we attach it. And we just wanna make sure that any vines that go through the fence are not staying through the fence. And see, honestly, y'all, if I had a big enough lattice and I didn't have another fence to contend with and I didn't have slats that were, it could go to the neighbor's house and everything, I wouldn't do this so much, but I wanna stay on it so we can make sure that we fill this whole thing out. Ah, uh, that's not a good fit. So you know what? We'll just let this one grow out a little bit more. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll definitely keep an eye on it and make sure that it doesn't go through the fence too much and we'll pull it back through. And then when the leaves get big enough, we won't have to worry about it going through the fence. So there's that. But now, as far as I like to see, we got the vine set. And look here, y'all. Bring it close in, TJ. We got, we got lima beans forming, y'all. We got lima beans forming. This is what they look like. Christmas pole lima beans, they all over the place. We're gonna be picking beans like mad after a while. And I'm excited, y'all. But that's what they look like in their beginning stages. So we'll just keep it going and we'll just make sure to keep it flowing. But hey, it's been awesome out here hanging out with y'all today. Just wanted to get a little bit of work done and have y'all along with us. Next time we come out here, we're gonna take a crack at the sweet potato bush because it is definitely a bush at this point. It is looking amazing over there. No previews. <laughs> but, those tomatoes are just getting crazy, bro. Tomatoes are literally going crazy. I'm gonna have to get like a, I'm gonna have to attach something to the stakes and make them tall, make them taller. Or just cut them and make them bush out, but whatever. Like I said, we had a great time out in the garden today, but y'all know what that means. We're through for today, so that's Farmer Q, out.